Okay, his line starts at Jones on Sahara. And I think it goes all the way to the 15. Apparently, according to the one of the guys I stopped and talked to, it's for a food bank. Corey just sent us a text and said, this is a video that I received today. And he had received it from um, Wyatt. And it was this video that he said, I want you guys to, to just watch it, right? And as I started playing, I didn't understand what it was. And then all of a sudden I start seeing this line of cars just forming. And then Wyatt starts explaining that it's a food, a food bank. After he um, had us watch the video, he said, I feel compelled to do something. And what should we do? Um, which was another thing that I was so grateful for because he didn't say, this is what I'm going to do. He said, what do you guys think? And I want to make sure that everybody is on board because, you know, right now we're, we're taking a step into trying to help our community when we don't even know what our uh, future is going to bring for us, right? But today we're in a position to help and that's all that we're going to worry about today, being able to help somebody in need. Out of that came the idea to give gift cards instead and wash their windshields and make them feel like like we are looking at them, like we're, we want them to understand that we're there for them and that they count. So we um, asked everybody to be at the palace station at six o'clock in the morning. Um, we got there at six o'clock in the morning and everybody was just in a, in a really good mood. I'll drive around and make sure everybody's got the message of what this is all about. Everybody should know that they're getting paid to be here. Uh, even though we've had almost half of them ask to not be paid and that they want to be here and, and, and give their hours, uh, we are still paying them. And, and the whole objective here, guys, is, is to make sure that uh, we're in the, 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 the attitude of uh, giving, giving service and, and being compassionate for everybody that's driving through. Uh, be cognizant of the fact and make sure we tell everybody it's not fun to be in this line without question. We're, we're trying to treat everybody as, as VIPs as they come through and, and move them out. The idea is that people are uh, going to get their meals and they're going to get a card to come here and we're going to fill up uh, their tanks with gas as, as a way to say thank you and, and we wish you well and things are going to get better and we're, we want to serve you with uh, gratitude and compassion and trust for a better day. Oh, we're done here. There's a 7-Eleven right here on the corner. $50 well, I'll tell you that we've got some science indicating what this is about leading up to this and one of the one of the signs says you know we're serving work so, so no tipping please um, but I had a conversation with one of our leaders about half the guys out here called him and said I, I don't want to be paid just just let me contribute and so that's what it's about it's just, uh, it's showing uh, provide an opportunity for our guys to uh, show the community that they're grateful to be here and be part of it. We actually got to speak with the company's CEO, Corey Summerhays. He tells News 3, while their business, uh, like so many others, might not be seeing so much business right now, they are pretty fortunate because they're not at a standstill. They're still working. His team wanted to do something special to serve those in the community that can't work or can't operate their businesses right now. We got to experience firsthand, you know, some of these stories. People started to cry over a $15 gas card. <laughs> Sorry. That just, that just gave me a perspective that I had not thought of. And it wasn't just me, we all felt it. These people were showing up in their cars and then they're showing us how they have no gas. And they were so grateful because somebody thought to give them $15 worth of gas and smile and remind them that, that they are someone and that we are all part of a community. I think that gave them a perspective of what we're trying to do and who we are. And it also reiterated to them what our core values are and how much we need them to be a part of it so that this can work. They were um, so not just grateful, but I think that they were so proud to be a part of this, 
to be a part of an organization that is giving and not just taking. To be a part of a company that decided to help instead of just help themselves.